Good people, this is the Star Media with Yvonne Otieno and today I'm just going to remind you before we jump into today's topic, which is going to be a little bit controversial, I don't know what you think, but uh, remember the opinions that we give here are personal opinions, so it could be something that you don't really maybe relate to, but either way, black beautiful child, remember to always have a good day because you owe it to yourself. Okay, jumping in or rather diving in, today we are going to be talking about contraceptives yeah yeah you had that right moha you know about you know what contraceptives are <laughs> i bet he does i bet he does so today we are going to be talking about contraceptives and why is it important for you to use contraceptives i'm going to be relating these stories to some of the live events that we've seen some of the stories that we've had from you know our team master kina extendela you know so um currently or rather recently this is a thing that is ongoing you'll find that a lady you know you're sending those screenshots you're sending those voice notes you know to to somebody to expose somebody who you probably have a baby with but i'm going to say that for a fact you know i'm i'm not really offended but i feel like we are we are we as ladies we are putting more pressure to men you know and I think that, you know, for you as a person to even in the first place to get pregnant, if you get pregnant, my friend, remember, you're going to bring somebody in this world, somebody who probably is going to want one or two things. So if you're not ready, if you cannot even afford to look up to yourself, why are you going ahead to have a baby? So most of us ladies, you find that we are we are we are trapping. At a I'm trap. We are having babies with people we don't even like. Like we just love them because of their money, but we think if we get a baby for them, we are going to be milking in more money, which I think it's it's something ridiculous. This is something that ladies do, and I feel that I'm offended for some reason. Not really offended, anyway. It's a free world; you can do your own thing. But let's jump in. Contraceptives. Contraceptives are important. First of all, we need to understand what contraceptives are. Contraceptives are fertility control. This is something that, darling, you use it for you not to be pregnant, for you not to have the baby when you don't expect, for you not to have the baby when you're not ready. And apparently, you know, it gets so weird because you go and get pregnant. After getting pregnant, you're trapping this boy. For what reasons? And I feel like each and every person should be consulted. Even that boy, Unafa could consult, Unafa you have to understand like are you mentally correct for you to have a baby do you want a baby this time or no ladies we have a lot of contraceptives in Yiziko placed in the store and you don't even need to go and tell somebody even a physician that hi you know i had sex and i didn't protect myself i need a, a contraceptive you know as a as a as a big girl as a big girl this is something that you need to know and i'm talking about this out of other people's experiences because a lot of these stories you hear that even most of them actually they are university university ladies and you can't tell me this is somebody who isn't aware of what she's doing this is somebody who is well educated this is somebody who knows the dynamics who knows that i'm sleeping with this guy he's married he's prominent he's a celebrity and you're going ahead to get pregnant for what darling <laughs> anyway let's get to understand one of the common contraceptives that we have we have condoms dude like we, we can't really do a measurement right here due to <laughs> some reasons but condoms are there use condoms use you know you, you 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 know the names even the government is giving sure for free so i'm wondering dear black beautiful girl where did you go wrong and you have to know that each and every time you do you have unprotected sex um actually unprotected sex should should be should be you you, you you're supposed to be having that only with your husband and your wife <laughs> these other people my friend use protection and it's going to curb a lot of ways. It's going to make you not to have unwanted pregnancies. It's going to make you not to, to have like, you know, diseases and all that. And then again, we have um, the implants, the implants for ladies, you know. Uh, yeah, those ones, they go up to a certain period of time, three years to five years. Ladies, this is something that should be something of a common sense. I don't see, like, we're in the first, 21st century. This is 2021. We have, like, a couple of few more days 
for 2021 to end and then we are going to be into 2022. Still, we are still trapping men with pregnancies. Why are we doing that? That is uncouth. Okay, uncouth. That is an English. Hey, Mo, you can get us on Kitambo. It's okay. It's okay. And then again, today we are going to be combining those these two topics. What do you think uh, of about male contraceptives? Because I feel that uh, they've exhausted a lot of um, female contraceptives more than they have done to men. You see? So um, I think also the medical department is being sort of unfair because if we are in this together, we have to be in it together. It doesn't have to be like, okay, we have sex and at the end of the day, Mimi will end up with a contraceptive. We have to get a contraceptive because the only contraceptive when you proven to men, maybe ilenye your whatever, uh, sterilization, but that is permanent. And then you, you find the condom. So do you think it is important also for the medical field to actually have the male contraceptives on display so that we we'll be in this together? But ultimately, you know how we do it. This is my two cents with Yvonne Otino and Star Media, you know? Yeah. <laughs>